it's another Tip Tuesday and today we're going to talk about how to prevent yourself from getting the cold or the flu. So let's do a scenario. It is Monday, you're at work and you are so excited because Friday after work you're taking a plane and you're going off to a tropical island. But unfortunately Sally Cold comes in and sneezes all over you and then Johnny Flu strolls in a little later on and he coughs all over you and you're like, okay, please don't get sick, please don't get sick, please don't get sick. All right, I'll tell you what to do to help you along to not get sick, but let's pretend you're either Sally Cold or Johnny Flu. You have a responsibility to everybody else, your coworkers, your friends. There is an etiquette when you cough or sneeze. You can use a tissue and cough in that, or the crook of your, uh, your elbow, Sneeze or cough into that, and then go wash your hands. Please help us all out. If you have a flu, unfortunately you're contagious like a day before the flu, and then five to seven days after. So you can, if you can stay out an extra day and help us all out, Johnny, stay out an extra day. Now, what if these people don't wash their hands, which I've been in, you know, nice restaurants in my life, and I've been washing my hands, and some would come in, do one, walk out or do two, come out and walk out and they don't wash their hands. Yes, that's gross. But we have to assume that people aren't washing their hands. So let's go back to my original thought. What do you do to be able to go on that plane and enjoy your trip? Well, the first thing you can do is you can understand how it's going to get in. It's either going to get in through your mouth, through your nose, or through your eyes. So before touching those areas, if you know there's somebody around you who is sick, wash your hands. So it's a good habit to have sanitizer, hand sanitizer, either at your desk or, you know, wherever you're, wherever you are during the day so you can constantly wash your hands, especially if you're somebody who's like a nail biter. Somebody like me who has contact lenses, that's a good, you have to wash your hands before you take your contact lenses. If you're in the gym and you're touching your face because you're sweating, just, just make sure you're in that habit of just always keeping your hands clean. Now, what does the body do to help you to, you know, to stop you from getting sick. Well, the body has its first line of defense is the mucous membrane in the nose. And what that does is that's like acts like a fly trap. It kicks all those germs and particles in the air and you just swallow it and it naturally gets rid of it. The good, the good enzymes in your stomach um, just fights infection and it's, it's done. Now, how can you help the body in that process where you can take probiotics, raw probiotics, Garden of Life is a great company, and I'll put that below where you can get that. Now, beyond the body using the mucous membrane, it also has cilia, and cilia is these really tiny microscopic hairs higher up in the nose that brush away all these, uh, these viruses and these germs. Now, what happens, though, when we're dealing with wintertime, it is dry, and everything gets dried up. And when everything gets dried up in there, it doesn't work as efficiently. So how can you help the body out? Well, one way is that you can hydrate. You can drink a lot of water, drink like eight glasses of water, and that'll help out the body. If you're at home, you can get one of these things. It's called, it's an inhaler. It's a, like a vaporizer and you breathe it in. Singers will know this, and this is a great way of um, keeping yourself nice and steamed and warm in there. Only use though, distilled water with these or sterilized water when you're using a inhaler because there's pathogens in regular tap water. All right, so hydration is good. What's, an, what's another thing that you can do? Well, you can have these and you can keep these around the house and um, if you have somebody that you live with and you can keep on the doorknobs or if you're Johnny or Sally, you can keep your area clean with the wipes. That's a, another good thing to do. Um, you can get plenty of sleep. Plenty of sleep is really important because that helps your body build, keep its immune system up high. And then my favorite is exercise. Exercise is one of the best ways you can boost your immune system to help you during these times of the flu and cold season. Well, I hope you enjoyed these tips. And like always, I'll put uh, the links below so you can do your own reading and thinking. This is Elite Fitness with Steve. Take care and peace.